Hi guys, this is Steve who runs here. Once again, a channel created for like-minded people looking to become fitter, healthy people. If that sounds like you, hit the red subscribe button below. Let's go on our running journeys together. Okay, so this is a video of how I overcame my ankle avulsion fracture. For the people that follow this channel to see the journey, as they say. Um, this might not be for you, but if you fed up of hearing it, this video is more for people looking that have done this injury, where they've pulled a piece of bone off their ankle and are looking, and are keen runners, looking to get back into it. I'm gonna explain what I've done, maybe differently, that I think has speed up the process. But I'm no doctor. I did a lot of research whilst I was injured of how to get this done at pace. And obviously there's different degrees of injury where mine might not have been so terrible as others. But I'm going to tell you what I did that speeded up from being three to four months without running to being running like this in six weeks. But please do your own research. Okay, let's talk about it. Okay, real quick back story to not too long ago where I twisted my ankle outwards and broke the bottom of the bone. Um, if you've just done this fracture or you've went to see a doctor you think you've done it, it's, I think it's fairly obvious when you have. Um, my ankle bent outwards out on a run, my left ankle, and it felt like a sprain, but it also made a horrible noise, one well, I'll never forget, in fact but it's like a deep click and a pop at the same time. Now, bear in mind fracture, um, sprains can't make this, but something stands out, I think, once you've done that fracture. And I'm gonna explain how. So my, my ankle swelled up heavily. I'll put a picture on. And I still was going down with a sprain. My mate said, that was not a nice sound that made. I'll probably go to doctor. So I did, five days later. Don't do that. If you think you've done it, get straight in, okay? The earlier they retreat it, the better. So as the swelling started to go down, three or four days later, the bone felt horrible to touch, really tender. And like I say, this might not be the case with you, but it was with me. I could kind of feel there was something wrong there. So I went in, the doctor said, after six hour wait, right, you've got a sprain there, nothing more. I was like, oh, phew, that's good news but it will send you to a scan because of the noise you heard. Perfect. Um, when I came out, he said, bad news, you've got an ankle avulsion fracture. Never heard of it. But it means the ligaments, it's free ligaments or tendons attached to the bottom of your ankle. When they stretch so far, either the ligaments go, which is bad, or it pulls the bone off, which is bad, but not as bad as that. So good outcome, really. Anywho, it was all still sort of intact. There's a small gap between what had come off and what had, and the bone that was remaining there. And they can be worse than others. Maybe this was, maybe this was the difference between my faster recovery than to what yours may be. That's why it needs to be checked. But the bone looked like it was still in place, even after five days of walking on it, limping on it. Um, so that was a good start. So, doctor's recommendation, wear this massive boot. Like I say, if you've seen this channel, please switch off, and maybe not for you. If you've hurt your leg, this is for you. This is what you're gonna be dealing with. This boot was huge. I had to wear it for four weeks, and only take it off if I wanted to not wear it in bed, and if I was sat on the sofa. Okay, I tried that as much as I could. It jarred my knee. It felt like it was hurting my ankle still. So I slowly start to take the boot off, right? I think maybe the doctors have you stay off it as much as you can for obvious reasons so that you don't disconnect it anymore. But in my view, because mine was still in place after five days of being at work on it, I felt like taking a boot off and giving it time on proper foot to recover. I thought it was a good idea. I looked at every blog there is, every YouTube video there is, I spoke to physios, I spoke to a doctor that comes in my work. 
he's just retired and we all agreed that getting blood to the area is good for recovery that's what i did everyone was saying get your boot on you idiot but i went with my own gut instinct that if it feels good to walk on then maybe i should walk on it the idea is to not twist it out again and disconnect it as long as you're in a safe area like the flat work at my floor and my house and whatnot then i think you can go without the boot if you've got a feeling that it's an un unstable floor then you should definitely wear the boot so that's what i did after two weeks i started to take the boot off and get some movement around my ankle i also jumped on the bike after getting the go ahead from the doctor and physio started using the bike to get as long as it weren't hurting we're always thinking about the pain as long as he wasn't getting a, like a soreness on the bit that's broke and go for it get the blood flowing around the bottom of your feet it felt good every time not a single pain using the exercise bike i wouldn't recommend fixing your feet into your cycling bike that you like to exercise on i mean get like a stationary bike that you can't have troubles with and fall off i also use the bands that i've uh, that I've always had, that I would make use of anyway. Started using exercises to get the ankle moving because one of the main things is getting the bone to stitch back together, but also to relieve the stiffness that you accumulate over the time. I've still got that now, to be honest. It's still stiff when I try and do full rotations. The idea is to get try and get that gone. So really light stretches, nothing that causes pain, but just slowly a bit more each day using the band to put your foot in and hook it under the sofa or to your other leg go outwards inwards back towards yourself outwards back towards yourself you know what to do do all those lightly with the lightest band you got for a start to get the strength going in there and to keep the muscle from wasting because if you are out for three or four months your muscle's going to waste and it's going to take a long time for your recovery to take hold so stretches strength work getting the blood to the area is what I think helps me after four weeks I had to go back it had been five weeks injury, injury because I left it a week to get seen so it had been five weeks on my second appointment and the doctor said wow um, brilliant recovery he said oh, you can go he said what about physiotherapy he said no whatever you, what you've been doing is working go home and do some more of that slowly get yourself back into running slowly but surely obviously don't go out doing mad 10 miles straight away just get yourself going slow gradually building up i think you're good to go got the letter through two days back signed off done deal okay so points to remember try not to drag this out too long points to remember our injuries might be different okay there's different breaks this is to do with the outside bone of your ankle has broke from a bit heavy twist okay they might be different mine is a significant injury yours might be worse yours might not be as bad but generally it pulls the bone off and has to connect back on okay so don't take this as medical advice this is what i did for mine that worked okay use your common sense if you take your boot off and it's killing put your boot back on if you're out somewhere on a rocky floor put your boot back on okay I, was, uh, I wasn't a fool with mine, everyone said I was, but I, I knew that it felt fine to do and it was a good idea to do it because I spoke to professionals, not the people that are just guessing that I should be wearing my boot. Secondly, get a tiny bit of stretching in there to limber the, um, the stiffness. And do some strength work with some bands, they're cheap. Buy a pack for 10 quid of all different strengths. Get yourself them, they're going to be an absolute godsend when trying to recover from this injury. Three, get yourself a wobble board. Also, 9.99 off Amazon. They're invaluable for getting the motion back in your ankle and strengthening it all at once. And they work on your core at the same time. They're a good tool to have anyway if you're running. But for this ankle, uh, this injury especially, that is going to do you well. Uh, get some advice from a physio. Let them have a feel around. I'll let mine have a feel. And he says, that feels good, that feels strong. Do what you gotta do within reason. Good, get professional advice. Um, four, ice and warm doesn't seem to be the thing now. 
look into that yourself. I did, I avoided it. I don't know if that's helped me recover, but I didn't do any of that. What I did was elevate it to get the swelling away. Cycling, indoor cycling. Get yourself a little bike if you can. I bought mine for a bag off of eBay, a quid. That's done me well to keep the fitness up whilst I'm off and to get the motion in your ankle, get the blood flowing around and to stop you feeling down about losing fitness so much. And positivity. The last thing is look forward to what's coming. You will get over it. It might not take as long as you think. It might take three or four months or more. It might take six weeks like mine. By the way, it's 100% fixable if you look after it. And that's exactly where you want to be, where I'm on my way to now after six weeks. So like I say, this is not doctor's advice. This is my own personal experience. Do what you feel is right. Get your ankle better. Get back to running. Thanks for joining me. Hit the red subscribe button below to follow more of this sort of stuff. See you soon. Steve at Runs.